Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now today we're going to do a range comparison with the Glock 19 Gen 4 versus the Canik TP9 SF Elite. Both compact size handguns with 15 round mags. With the Canik on the right, you can see that the slide goes a little bit longer. It has a 4.2 inch barrel. And we'll look at the grip, length, and width. It's kind of similar. I think the Canik has a little nicer ergonomic feel, but the Glock is known for reliability. Let's start with the Glock 19. What can you say about the Glock 19 that hasn't been said? It's built for everyday carry. A lot of people carry it. It's built for duty as well. It has sustained a lot of torture tests and reliability tests. It has a proven track record. Not the most ergonomic gun, but it works. And the one thing that Glock has more than any other company out there is aftermarket support. This actually has night sights on it that was added afterward. And that's one of the things you can do with Glock is customize it to fit your liking, your shooting style, your personality. It has a five and a half pound, Glock calls it a safe action trigger. And there is the reset little blocky okay some people call it glock block but i have had this a long time i i really enjoy it i think it's a fine handgun i know it is extra reliable never once failed on me that i can remember and i've always had a glock 19 i've had several glock 19s i've stuck with this one for a while but i am happy with it glock 19 so let's go ahead and take a few shots i'm going to make my decision after I do the shooting by the way so I'm gonna ask to see which one you prefer let's start right there. nice trigger action I've always liked the trigger action of the Glock you know it's it's got a nice uh, trigger uh, you just you just pull that trigger and it just popped for you so there it is. But over here we've got the Canik TP9 SF Elite. Let me go ahead and shoot this first because I can see a train's coming. And I don't want to shoot with a train coming behind me. Uh, it's going in the opposite direction, but I already charged it. Let's go ahead and take some shots. And I think I shot them pretty much the same. <laughs> but the Canik offers some things that Glock doesn't out of the box. First off, it's 100 bucks less. It does have serrated black rear sight, a fiber optic front sight, front serrations, a full pick rail, ambidextrous slide release. Uh, magazine release is interchangeable and about a four and a half pound trigger pull that is so nice. The reset right there. It does have a striker fire indicator. We'll see if we can get that. That red button right there goes away. It does have a loaded chamber indicator bar. So many of the Canik people say, well, you really don't need any aftermarket parts because Canik gives you everything that you want in the case. And that's true, including a holster for about a hundred bucks less. So it, it does offer quite a bit out of the case. I like to disassemble with the, the Canik. All you do is pull it back a little bit. You don't even slide it off. You just put it on to there. And But there's no problem with the Glock. So which one would you choose? Would you choose the Canik TP9 SF Elite or the Glock 19? Well, I was going to make my decision after I shot both. I don't have a bias either way. Both these are mine. Anytime I do these comparisons, I don't have a bias because I'm using my own guns and if I didn't like them, I wouldn't have them. But I, I do like both these for what they are. I like the Canik for the price. I like the Canik for the Ergos and I like the Canik for the trigger. I like the Glock for the reliability. If I was going to carry one of these, which I don't, but if I we're going to do that i choose the glock 19. it's four ounces lighter you're looking at an unloaded weight of about 24 ounces over here you're looking at 28 ounces 4.2 inch barrel four inch barrel 
Better ergonomic feel with the Canik TP9SF Elite. Nice firing, shooting impressions, impressions, reliability with the Glock 19. So I guess if I'm gonna carry, I'm going with the Glock. Just for range fun, I'm going with the Canik. I like that fiber optic front sight. That is really nice. And both of these have their advantages with not too many disadvantages. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.